Hey guys, a civic organization, the rule of law and accountability advocacy center, says the current insecurity in the southeast Nigeria should not solely be blamed on the secessionist groups agitating for the actualization of the Biafra nation. The group disclosed this during the presentation of a report titled Unveiling the Roots of Insecurity, Healing the Wounds of Human Rights Evaluations in Southeast Region as Part Towards Peace, Open Democratic Space, and a Prosperous Future. The Human Rights Group accused the Nigerian government of adopting a counterproductive approach in its fight against insecurity in the southeast region, with a mindset to kill everything because of the hatred of then President Muhammad Buhari towards the region. In his remark during the unveiling of the report produced in partnership with Ashon Group on Free Civil Space, the executive director of the group, Comrade Okechuku, explained that the report was intended to drive the true narrative about the nature, the natural root uh, patterns, dimensions, and the effects of current government approach to tackling insecurity in the region. He noted that one of the additional factors fueling the the circle of violence, as documented in the report, is the Nigerian government's single-minded, uh, broad face and con con counterproductive approach to fighting insecurity in the zone. According to him, the federal government is simply not interested in listening to the voices of reason in or about anything that concerns the Southeast development and peace. It is not paying attention to the plight of the people and not interested in sincerely addressing or solving the problems of the people of the zone, he said. He stated that rather than adopt a more open-minded approach, the federal government is driven by the mindset as reviewed by President Bo um, um, Buhari during an interview in 2021 to speak to the people in the language that they understand, adding that that was why the military would go into a community and burn it down because they are looking for secessionists, which is which in itself is not a crime. Okay, Chuku for that stated that why the group acknowledged that pro Biafra agitation and insurgency are significant contributors to insecurity in the Southeast, attributing the problem solely to those factors, paint an incomplete future. Picture. He said, RULAAC's findings paint a bleak picture, a blank picture of public security policies in the region heavily relent on repressive police and military action, often with excessive force. The report documents instances where the police in the southeast have acted in compliance with reckless uh, directives such as the shoot on site order by President uh, Buhari in 2021 and the Inspector General of Police subsequent order on them to go after IPOP, kill them, and not worry about shout of human rights violation. The police embarked on indiscriminate mass raid and arrest in communicado, detention, torture, public parade, and executions of accused, mostly innocent persons. Not a few people of conscience were shocked to receive the information that no less than 107 citizens were indiscriminately arrested from different locations in Oweri, in Imo State, labeled IPOB members, and are ring, not in any court, but at the car park of the Share Camp Police Division, Oweri, and later shifted to the conference hall 
of the Commissioner of Police, Imo State, with some magistrate presiding. They were charged with offenses of treason, including plots to overthrow President Buhari and Governor Hope Uzodema and reminded at the Uwiri prison. The same numbers of persons arrested and arraigned in war in one day by the police in Imo State for purportedly conspiring to overthrow President Buhari and Governor Hobu Zanima was outlandish. Police did not show what weapons with which the people, including women and children, were going to carry out the overthrow. That was nothing more than a malicious declaration of war against innocent and law-abiding residents of Imo State going about their legis legitimate, legitimate businesses. It was a direct outcome of the Impostor General. It was a direct outcome of the Inspector General of Police Directive to police officers to take the war to IPOP and not to bother about observing the rules of engagement or be deterred by the media shout of human rights violation. The chairman of the occasion, Professor Oke Ibenum, who is the regional director of West Africa at Ford Foundation, which provided financial support for the report, regretted that the Southeast, which used to be a, a bosom of peace, had been turned into a theater of war. Hmm, that is sad. The federal government is simply not interested in listening to the voices of reason in or about anything that concerns the Southeast development and peace. The federal government will be caught orders when it comes to releasing 313 Boko Haram suspects, but ignores orders of some courts to release just one Namdi Kano and you want youth in the Southeast not to react to such injustice. Buhari's eight years have come and gone yet. Nigeria has not murdered insecurity or all Igbo youth of the Southeast, now spreading their hatred to our neighbors in the South-South. It's nothing but building up to a crippling war that will effectively end Nigeria, as we know it. Political leaders like Dave Omai, Governor Hope Zodima, C.C. Uh, Soludo, Peter Mba, and uh, such uh, scumbags as the Carlos of Abia State are also to blame for escalation of violence and insecurity you see in the Southeast today. Tinubu will soon realize is full, is, is fully if he keep towing the line of Buhari in dealing with the Southeast. Men don't say what they will do. Men do what uh, needs to be done when the time comes or if pushed to the wall. Okay, someone just dropped that. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up.